so in this question we are asked to uh, find the interaction force between two copper spheres each of mass 1 gram separated by a distance of 1 meter if the total electronic charge in them is differed from the total charge of the nuclei by 1 percent what does uh, this question mean to say is uh, like uh, you can see here here we are saying we are told that uh, there is a sphere or sample A and there is one more sample B both are of mass 1 gram both are of mass 1 gram this 1 gram of copper will have how much total number of uh, protons and how much total positive charge due to number of uh, protons and how much total negative charge overall the sample is neutral but it will be having some specific number of protons which will always be equal to the number of electrons right so uh, we know the atomic weight of copper is 63.55 gram Avogadro number is 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 and atomic number of copper is 29 right so using this data what I am saying is 1 gram mole of copper 1 gram mole of copper will be weighing 63.55 gram and 1 gram mole will contain 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 number of atoms so 63.55 gram will have this many atoms of copper but what we are uh, required is we are required to find the number of atoms in 1 gram copper so in 1 gram copper we will have by unitary method we can see that 1 gram copper will have 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 by 63.55 atoms and each atom of copper as its atomic number is 29 so each atom of copper will have 29 electrons as well as 29 protons because copper atom is a neutral one right so these many number of electrons as well as these many number of protons will be available in each copper and if we know the number of electrons and the number of protons then we can easily find the total charge available on this sample total positive charge in, in, uh, as, as in the form of protons and total negative charge in the form of electrons so what they are saying is what they are saying is uh, they are saying that this many number of atoms will have this much of electrons and as each electron is having charge E which is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 so overall this is the total charge total positive or total negative charge available on this A in terms of uh, electrons or in terms of protons they are saying that 1% 1% of this charge goes to the other object B. Let's say 1% uh, of this total charge becomes this and this gets transferred from object A to object B. So this object A will get positively charged because it has donated its uh, some of its electrons while this object B will get negatively uh, charged because it has accepted some of the electrons. So this is the value of QA which will be exactly equal to QB but QB will be negative, QA will be positive. So we have to find force between this object A and this object B. So K, Q, A, Q, B by R square, R is going to be 1. So K is 9 into 10 to the power 9 and QA, QB is ob obviously equal to this is this complete thing is QA. This complete thing is QA and uh, this is QA. And if we put QA here as well as QB here, and if I solve all this, I'll get the force to be equal to 1.74 into 10 to the power 15 Newton after all the calculations.